My senior project has been a 70 page field guide to the Gulf of Maine. I think it's an undertaking that's been many years in the making. I very quickly got involved with the taxidermy lab and the, and the museum exhibit design and collection. And so this is actually where I spent most of my time as a freshman, is in this room um, drawing from museum specimens. In my second year, I had the opportunity to work on the boat um, on Osprey. Yeah, I started as a deckhand, so I would do all the lines. Um, I would take the, help tie the boat up and take the boat off the dock. Um, I did a little bit of driving. Toby taught me how to drive a Zodiac, the little inflatable boats that get us from the shore to the boat. Um, but we also share a huge, a tremendous passion for natural history, which has been awesome. And so he let me be a guide on some of the whale watches that we do in the bay cruises that when we go out and we have passengers and help teach people about the ocean. As I began discovering the ocean myself, I wanted to help other people uh, discover it uh, as well. And so this project kind of evolved out of a desire to do a lot of art of uh, material that was new to me and also to share that knowledge, the knowledge that I had gotten from working on the ocean with other people. And so we, I have been taking pictures for the past three years of all the life that I've encountered offshore. So actually on my laptop I have a photo database of thousands and thousands of just random images of you know the, the back sides of gulls as they fly away and the, just the tips of dolphin dorsal fins as they come out of the water. And one of my goals was to uh, emphasize the behavioral sketches of animals when 90% of the activity is going on under the surface to kind of show what you see what you see visually when an animal is underwater and out of sight. It's a 70 page small pocket sized book that you can throw on your boat or you can carry around on offshore. And so this summer I'll be a naturalist aboard the Bar Harbor Whale Watch and in the winter time I'm going down to Antarctica with a tour company to be a Zodiac driver so I'll be driving the inflatable boats and also as an interpreter so I'll be talking about the wildlife and the geology of the Antarctic. So I think that the, the hands-on nature of the program here at COA is very important, especially with what I've experienced in the boat program. Um, I don't think a lot of colleges give students the opportunity to, to drive and land inflatable boats on offshore islands. I think that more so than any other college that I could have gone to, I've had the opportunity to really to not only get involved in the areas that I was interested in, but also to become pretty adept in the, at the skills that are involved in those fields. And that is an incredible opportunity.